Welcome back to the tailgate. I thought I would do something that I've never done before and try to make a short video out of it. So this is the heart of that dough right there. And it's not really uh, fit for human consumption because I shot it right through the heart as you can see. That's what a 450 Bushmaster will do at 100 yards. But this could make a good treat for the dog. So I'm going to use the knife I used to gut this deer. A friend of mine gave me this for Christmas. And uh, I've let, I, I shot the deer yesterday. It's been in the, the bed of the truck all night, so the deer and the heart are frozen. But I'm going to just use the tailgate as a cutting board here. And I'm just going to cut the heart into pieces here. Just slice right through it. And then I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces. And then more or less, these are just dog treats. Now I asked a friend who uh, I hunt with, I hunt on his property. He's been doing this all his life. He knows a lot more about deer hunting than me. And he said, yeah, I can keep the uh, pieces refrigerated for about a week and a half and I can feed it to my dog raw just in bite-sized chunks. And uh, some of the meat is not completely frozen all the way through. I've got a medium-sized dog. She's a Shepherd Border Collie mix. These ought to be bite-sized chunks for her. You can see how well the knife just cuts right through. Yeah, I think we'll just leave out the part here that the bullet went through. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm simply going to transfer these to a new Ziploc bag. And there we go, dog treats. She's being reluctant. Let's see if we can get her to take it. What do you think? She likes it enough to dig it out of the snow. So there you go. Something else you can harvest off of your deer. If you've got a dog or some dogs and you want to make up some treats for them, it's as simple as uh, just cutting it up into bite-sized pieces and putting it in a Ziploc bag. Thanks for watching.